Hello and welcome to this Corgi Engine tutorial. I'm Renault and today I'm going to talk to you about AI and how you can create computer controlled characters in the Corgi Engine um, to act as enemies or maybe followers. Uh, we'll see what components are already in the engine, um, in the engine and that you can use uh, out of the box and how you can create new ones. Right, so AI scripts are already kind of like abilities that you can add to your character. Uh, for example, if I select that, that red dude here, uh, as you can see, it has an AI walk script. Uh, right now it's set on patrol. It uh, requires a character horizontal movement script. Um, it will allow you, you, your character, uh, of course, to walk. You can specify whether you want it to patrol or move on site. Uh, let's keep that to patrol. You can change uh, the walk speed on uh, its ability. Uh, it's character horizontal moving script. So for example, if I put 50 here uh, You'll see that if I press play right now my character walks uh, Well super fast. Let's put it back to four. I Can also uh, have it avoid falling. So for example, if I put it here, you'll see that if I press play uh, It will try not to fall but uh, if I put it here and uncheck this thing want to avoid falling and uh, well fall just uh, just like a regular character that keeps going on um, you can also have it change direction on wall that's uh, that was its previous behavior but right now you can see that it just doesn't change direction anymore um, now a bunch of other things you can set like uh, the move on site distance if you put your character in move on site um, you will be able to set uh, the raycast uh, that uh, and, and how your character is detected. So for example, if I put uh, this character here, set its walk behavior to move on site. Uh, I'm gonna set its move on site layer to player, so that way it, it, detects, it detects the player. And uh, obstacles layer, I'll say platforms. Uh, if I press play, you'll see that uh, we now have, uh, I'm just gonna, on my other screen, I'm gonna move in, into the area. So as you can see, we have this uh, raycast here, the gray one, and if I cross the raycast, the character will move in my direction. Uh, I could decide that I want the raycast to be cast a bit higher or a bit lower, or maybe uh, offset on the X or Y axis. Uh, to accommodate for the size of my character, but th that's basically all you need to know about the AI walk script uh, Another interesting one is the AI uh, shoot on site uh, script. I'm gonna move to the lava demo scene So here I am and here we have these uh, blue robots so uh, if I press play you'll see that uh, all they do is uh, kind of patrol here and there and if I cross the line of sight they shoot at me uh, maybe it's even better if I do that you see they, they shoot at my little cat here and uh, I get hurt so how does it work um, if I if I just select uh, my blue robot, you will see that it has an AI walk script uh, set to patrol, so basically what we've seen so far. And on top of that, it has an AI shoot on site script. Uh, this one will uh, have a shoot distance and uh, a raycast offset. That's basically the same thing as uh, the walk on site thing. And what it does is if it finds an enemy in its sight, it will activate. Uh, the character and the weapon uh, component and make it shoot. So uh, this blue robot, it has a character and a weapon. It has a robot weapon, which is defined here, and in which um, we will define what kind of projectile we have. So it's a robot weapon projectile. That's the sort of orange thing that it shoots. Um, that's also where you'll define uh, the time between uses. So for example, if I put point 0.1, and uh, try to get in range of my, my robot again. I'm coming there. As you can see, I get I get shot quite a few times. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, that's more or less um, everything you need to know about these two AI components. 
and of course you can you can create new ones uh, I'm working on on a bunch of uh, AI scripts that I wanted to add to the game for a long time uh, so far I've been working on, on more complex stuff more coarse, coarse stuff because I, I think uh, AI is quite simple to uh, to set up once you've done all the the other stuff but if you look at the AI work script uh, you'll see that there's nothing complicated to it um, what it does is at update it will for example check for a target check for walls and check for holes and then it applies um, the direction that has been you know selected at, at some point and really just just look at the code uh, if you want to create your own uh, maybe jumping one etc it's just a matter of determining if and when to uh, to call all the abilities that are already included in the engine so maybe um, if you have a raycast that detects a wall maybe you want to jump it's really as simple as that and it's, it's just a matter of calling uh, the various abilities I'll make more abilities soon and uh, maybe another tutorial at that point I hope you've learned some new stuff today and uh, I hope I'll see you next time bye